Hi, and welcome to the Pat Answers video series and the third episode in our series on navigating malaise and rekindling spirit. Today's question is, isn't malaise just an old folks problem? And you might think that malaise, that feeling of being stuck and stale and uninspired and in a rut, is something you would mostly experience as you get close to the end of a career or to the end of life. And in my research on malaise, I was surprised actually myself to find out that that isn't necessarily true. Malaise, in fact, is mostly a mid-life experience. And if you look at our lives today, we're closing in on a life expectancy now of almost 90 years. So midlife really could be anywhere between 30 and 60. And the research showed that actually people experience malaise repeatedly. And the ones that experience it most often are those who are in their 40s, followed by those who are in their 50s, and then those who are in their 30s. So what happens um, to us is as we move into these mid-years of life, we start taking stock. And that does start as early as our 30s and continue. And it's really no surprise that we find a bit of a dip in life satisfaction through that midlife period, especially through our 40s and our 50s. And it's not just related to that extra 10, 20, or 30 pounds that we pack on, or even the other gifts of gravity, the sags and bags and wrinkles that we see when we look in the mirror. Two forces in particular weigh us down. The first force is that weight of unmet expectations. How we hoped life might have been or unfolded by now. And the second weight that weighs us down is the very real weight of everyday obligations, the things that we do and are required to do for work, for family, and for community. A third force behind malaise is the very simple fact that over time, everything new and exciting becomes old and familiar. This is true when it comes to romances, it's true when it comes to work and projects. We just experience that fading of excitement along the way. So the better that we get at recognizing that we are experiencing malaise, the sooner we can get to responding to it and to start asking ourselves those questions along the lines of what now and what next. And when we do that, we spend far less time in the doldrums, far less time feeling stuck, and hopefully we'll have fewer regrets towards the end of our own lives. So that's it for today's question. The short answer is no. Midlife malaise is not just an old folks problem. In the episodes ahead, I'm going to be answering more questions about this topic, uh, typical responses that people have to malaise, how best to deal with it in yourself and others. So please, stay tuned.